Are you tired of the same old boring seven wonders of the world? Are you tired of going all the way to Egypt and having to endure harsh sandstorms and countless famines just to see the pyramids of Giza? Are you just plain and happy? Well, we have just the thing for you. We have managed to create the eighth and the best wonder of the world, the Microcom XL 10 to 100. Welcome to the smallest camera in the world. In this camera, we have all the greatest photos taken in the world and yes, we also have the seven wonders of the world. Instead of actually going to the seven wonders of the world, you can save your money and time by coming to us. Our camera versions of the seven wonders are more wonderful than the actual ones. We also have an amazing range of photos in this camera starting from beautiful mountain ranges to hilarious fail moments. You name it, we've got it. This basically holds all the things together and keeps the camera from falling apart. You can pass through the case through the hole that is in front of the lens. By now you must be wondering, why should it be the smallest camera in the world? Well, it allows you to pass through the camera lens by faster means. You see, as objects get smaller, their surface area to volume ratio increases, which allows the process of diffusion to occur faster than in comparison to larger objects. Our special lens, aka cell membrane uses this process of diffusion to allow objects to pass through. We have our special secret mysterious size converter that changes the size of people who want to enter the camera, but it doesn't particularly allow conversion of people who exceed the height of 6 feet. Don't worry, those of you who are this in human size can go through the special USB port 6 feet converter. The name speaks for itself, but we'll explain more later. For now, you can just stay in the special waiting lobby, your tour will come shortly after. It's nothing personal, we tend to hate tall things. Now let's see about that size converter. All you below the weirdo height of 6 feet please touch the lens. All others please leave. Thank you. Bazaw. Pew. Pew. Pew 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 pew. Bam. No need to worry. You are still your old human self. Converting you into light photons would be violating our policy. And we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? We are nearing the charge couple device which is abbreviated to CCD. Everything that needs a transportation network, right? Don't worry, our camera's got one too. You may call it the CCD, but we call it the endoplasmic reticulum. In other words, the ER. It transports a charge and reads it at one corner of the array. A kind of... Light synthesis takes place in our solar cells. That are in the CCD. AKA ribosomes. In the solar cells, we convert photons to electrons. Let's just follow the CCD to the ADC. It's a shortcut to the photos. The camera can have such a long name for one of its art. That's not even a name, it's a sentence. That's why we call the analog to digital converter the Golgi apparatus. In our ADC, each pixel's value turns into a digital value by Measuring the amount of charge at each photocyte and converting the measurement to a binary form. You basically package your photos. So we'll just follow the ADC or Golgi apparatus to the photos. It'll be a blast. Ignore the beeping noises. So while we are waiting for you to complete packaging, I mean the data and the camera to complete sorting out, let's talk about other parts we haven't visited of the very camera you will soon be stored in. Uh, well it seems I can't keep my mouth shut. You'll be a photo. Soon. So let's learn about the things that power this hunk of tech. AKA, your new home. The receiver chamber, AKA, chloroplast receives signals from our very own position satellites around the globe, which it sends to the energy chamber for conversion. The energy chamber, aka mitochondria, converts signals received from the receiver chamber into electricity the camera can use. It also controls the overall amount of electricity in the camera. Our camera's digital brain. It controls all functions in our camera. This is why we call it the a nucleus. It has loads of control. And that control is me. I, Microsoft Mike, founder of all that is Microsoft, I planned it all. You pitiful humans were just variables that needed to be disposed of. 
or, more precisely contained in a place, one camera for every 20 people. And I, Microsoft Mike, will control the world. No longer will I be a lousy voice recording. I will rule and control all. If you're wondering how the camera stores all the photos that the world has got to get to it, ask its SD card. We hate to give our camera parts bad names, so we call our SD card the vacuole. Isn't that name much cooler? Our SD card, aka the vacuole, has enough space to hold 10,000 terabytes of photos. So in you go to the vacuole. <laughs> <laughs>